Dan Graziano does a great job for us, our NFL insider. He writes an NFL column every Monday called Overreaction Monday. Uh, and the Overreaction Monday today starts with something that I may think is not an overreaction. And that is that the San Francisco 49ers are the best team in football. I don't think that's an overreaction anymore. Man, the defense is certainly going to give you the biggest claim. And I think waiting for that is probably going to be the most important. Like, year over year again, the change that that group has made, Nick Bosa having a very, like, capstone-esque effect on that front and what they've been able to do. Well, I mean, the last thing, like, like, remember remember in 2016 when Zach Martin was the draft pick for the Dallas Cowboys in the first round? Yes, I remember. You know, he was the third first-round pick they had added to that group, and that really sort of unlocked it. We know there's this is defensive front littered with first-round picks, but Nick Bosa has now turned into the game-breaker that I think allows the rest of that group to operate the best it possibly can. It's helped out the back end. Richard Sherman, those defensive backs, now forcing interceptions, intercepting Kyle Allen for the first time in his NFL career this weekend when they played the Panthers. So all of these things, it feels like that side has been the biggest difference because we know offensively, yeah, what Kyle Shanahan is going to give to you. And we look at all this and say, Jimmy Garoppolo, we still don't really well, think see, he's all that good. That's it right there. You look at his attempts, they're way down from other starting quarterbacks. Yards down. He has nine touchdowns, seven interceptions. Their running game is fantastic. They're second in the league behind Baltimore. They're sitting at 181 a game. Baltimore is at 204, which is ridiculous. But Sam Fran is running the ball well. The defense is great. That seems like the last question, but could it be the biggest question? When they need their quarterback, is he going to be there for them? Because we keep talking about, and we know that's the most important position on the field, and when it is crunch time, is that guy going to deliver? I mean, he is. He's completing 69% of his passes, but he isn't asked to do a whole lot, right? With with attempts and and with touchdowns and interceptions, he's not. They ran for 232 yards. Yeah, so they're running great. They're playing great defense. So that is the last question, because who are the other top teams we're talking about in the NFC? The Green Bay Packers, who yep. they got a quarterback? Aaron Rodgers. The New Orleans Saints, who they got a quarterback? Drew Brees, who came back I from mean, a five-game absence through 373 yards and three touchdowns, Would baby. we agree there's the top three? Yes. If you want to throw in after that, maybe Minnesota, Seattle, unless you want to put Seattle in there right now. But yeah. that top three, you know, you, you, you know two of those quarterbacks, and you know if it's crunch time, those two quarterbacks can come through for you, and you're just not sure about Garoppolo at this well, point. Well, and I think that's why the Niners and Seattle are very similar for different reasons, because – those other two teams that you mentioned with Green Bay and with New Orleans, they're moving in the right direction. We've talked about it. Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers seem to be on the same page. We know Drew Brees and that defense, all of it's working in the same direction. With Seattle, you've got a play caller that's almost actively subverting the quality of their quarterback there with how low Russell Wilson's attempts are, how little right. they utilize a passing game that's got him. And Tyler Lockett, who's emerging as one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, really the last couple of years. And in San Fran, we're the opposite. You've got a play caller that is so good it's covering up what we perceive as a lot of the flaws that might exist for Jimmy Garoppolo were he not throwing to receivers that were wide butt naked open yeah I just <laughs> it, it just goes wide butt naked open wide by the butt way we're, naked gonna, open. we're gonna put that in wow. the vernacular yeah. uh it, it is just uh, whenever we talk about the Niners I, I just go back to what New England is doing right I mean they are built around a suffocating defense yeah. and yep. a ground game and a quarterback look Tom Brady has all the accomplishments let's be clear he's got all the accomplishments Tom Brady isn't that Tom Brady anymore but and I think this is the difference is we've seen how this story plays yes, out. And unfortunately, yeah. when you're talking about top teams in the league, you're graded by that New England curve. Yeah. And what happens? I mean, look no further than the other guy that Kyle Shanahan gets talked about with, <laughs> Sean McVay. Sean McVay was a guy that came in and was perceived to cover up a lot of the flaws that might have existed in Jared Goff's game. And then they ran into a place where you couldn't run the ball at will on that New England team. You put it on the arm of Jared Goff to win it to you. And it was a game that stunted the growth of offensive football for right. About 50 right. years in the New England Patriots, and Tom Brady was accounted on and reliable enough to do just enough of what you that's, needed, and that's the difference with these Hall of Famers. Absolutely the difference. Is he going to do what he's done in the past? Maybe not, but you know what? I still trust Tom Brady. No the question. Crunch time, I still trust him, and I'm not sure yet with Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. By the way, this is the 10th time in the <laughs> Super Bowl era that we've had multiple teams start 7-0 and or better. In each of the last nine times it happened, at least one of these teams reached the Super Bowl. <laughs> And in eight of the last nine times, one of those went on to win it. So what we're telling you is, people, either see the Niners or the Patriots in the Super Bowl, and guess what? One of those guys probably going to take home the trophy. Of course, we know it's probably going to be that team in the NFC. 
What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.